Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. It has been a while, and I apologize. My tongue was swollen. It kind of still is. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it or not, and I'm doing my best to talk normally. Well, I do my best to always talk normally, since I always talk funny. I have phased Lutris out of my workflow uh, for a while now. And the reason I have done so is uh, it has too many issues, too many bugs, and too many problems. So I've started to port things over like Battle.net. I already have a video up about that. It's still relevant. But I haven't done a video about setting up Uplay yet. So that is what we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to move over the files required to get Uplay to run. Because all you need is the executable. And I'm still going to call it Uplay. Why? Well, because I can. Because that just makes life easier on me. Unless I can't find Uplay and then we have to download it all over again. One second. Is it been here? It's, it's, I swear to God. You know, I go to search and current folder and when I can't find something, I have to look somewhere else most of the time and I end up finding it. So let's begin by adding game. Now, we're going to call this by its real name, which is, of course, uh, UbiConnect, or, yeah, whatever. But I'm going to just call it Uplay. With a capital U. And what's going to happen is I'm going to select the Wine version. Uh, this is up to you, whatever Wine version you use the most. And then we're going to run the installer first. Okay, I'm going to go to Documents. This is the installer you'll get from the... Uh, site where you download the installer of course and it will open up and run the setup just like that and after this hit next we're not going to launch it we're going to finish then we're going to go find it so program files no program files Yes, and we're going to just choose Launcher, or uh, I guess Ubi Connect right here would do, right? Uh, yep, okay, and we're going to hit Finish. And what's going to occur next is absolute magic, figuring out which one is which. Well, that one came first. So when you hit Play, it's going to do everything it normally does. Because this is the one that we use, the Proton EM. And I'm already logged in, so it's going to update the application. And lo and behold, it should just kind of hopefully function. Yeah. Great. And there you go. The application is up and running. Now, I can't make it any more simple than this. I would try, but... It wouldn't work. Uh, the next video, we're going to be covering the EA app and the installation required for that. So stay tuned for that. And uh, if you're new here, you've learned something, leave a comment, leave a like on the video, subscribe. Uh, if you really want to help support the channel, you're really, really, really thankful. Uh, just become a member on YouTube or donate using Ko-Fi. Both are very, very helpful and do a lot. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you guys next time.